I have created the camera gimbal, but now I need to attach the camera to the character. I could just put the gimbal as child of the character, but since in Wonder the character can crouch, I need to smoothly transition the camera from top to bottom. This transition is done by the camera follow mechanism. In this video we will just create a simple attachment that will teleport the camera to the target, so we can focus on how to create the components and systems in C++ and how to get the entity ID from a notepad. We will cover the transition in another video. First thing first, let's create the component camera follow, it's a structure, and the macro component is defining the storage type, in this case we define the dense vector storage, which is the best to use in almost all cases. We will talk about the storages in another video, or you can just check the wiki. So we can define the target variable with the type notepad and the camera offset. The target entity is a variable that we will use as cache to store the target entity ID. To expose these variables to scripting, we have to add the function bin method, where we can use the macro ECS bin property to expose the target and the offset variable. To register this component, we can use the module register function, which is called at startup, so we can use the function register component to just make it available. Now the component is ready to be used, so we can launch the editor, open the gimbal scene and add it. The reason why we leave the target variable empty and the gimbal scene outside the character scene is because Wonder is a multiplayer game. For each player I'll spawn a character, but on client I need that only one camera exists, so it's necessary that the two scenes are decoupled. The spawner is taking care to spawn the camera and assign the local character as target. Now we have the component assigned and the camera spawner, so we can add the system that performs the actual job. So go back to C++, we can add the function process camera follow. We can define the data we want to fetch as function argument, so here we have the word that is taken immutably, we use it to fetch the entity ID from the target notepad. We have also two queries. The first one is used to process the camera follow components and the transform. We need to mutate the camera follow because we store the target entity ID we fetch from the world. We need to mutate the transform to attach the entity to the target location. The second query is used to fetch the target location, we take it immutable, no need to change it. We can now code the system. We begin by iterating the camera follow and the first operation we do is to fetch the target entity ID. If the target entity is not yet cached, we take it from the world using the function getEntityFromPath. Once we have the target entity ID, we have to check if target entity has a transform, if not, we just skip it. At this point, it's sure the target transform exists, so we can fetch it to compute the attachment. It's possible to fetch the data from a storage, like if it's a normal array, using the entity ID. As you can notice here, we have an additional little function, space, with the enum global passed as argument. In Godex exists the concept of hierarchy, some components, like the transform component, can have the local value and the global value. For example, the global transform is the combination of all the parents' local transforms. In other words, in Godex it's possible to nest some entities, and using the component child is possible to define the parent of that entity. In this line, we are fetching the global transform for the target entity. Now that we have it, we can just teleport the camera follow entity and apply the offset. At this point, we can register this system, go back to the module register function where we register the component and using the function register system to register it. The first argument is the function, the second is the system name we want to show on editor and the third is just the system description. At this point we can just open the editor, go inside the word ECS and add the system we created. This system is just animating the camera, so we can move it after the physics. That's it, our camera follow mechanism is now working. In this video we saw how to create a component and a system in C++ and how to fetch the entity ID from a notepad. With ECS there are also other ways to identify a specific entity, like using the tag components. These are components without any data, used to just identify the entities, however there are cases where you want to just point an entity created in editor, in these cases you can just use the path as shown. That's all, see you in the next video, bye!